The PXI 50.2 is a revolutionary product from Kicker. It gives you the ability to have music on any vehicle that has a charging system. Literally, from a lawn tractor to a motorcycle to a personal watercraft, a snowmobile, any type of vehicle where you want to have music, you can use your iPod or your iPhone as the source. You don't even need a radio. The way it works is you can have an iPod or an iPhone as your source material. Then, the cable runs back to the PXI 50.2 brain, which is also an amplifier. From there, you can run two or four speakers. We actually make a specific line of speakers for this product. It's called the PS5250. They come in a 2 ohm or a 4 ohm speaker, which means you can run one pair or two pair of speakers depending on your application. The amplifier of the PXI 50.2 is rated at 25 watts per channel in the 2 ohms. The RCA outputs allow you to add additional amplifiers to the system. If you'd like to run a subwoofer on your motorcycle, now you can do that. The auxiliary input gives you the option of multiple music sources. Not only can you use your iPhone or iPod, you can use any brand of MP3 player. When your iPhone or iPod are plugged into the PXI 50.2, you have rapid charging at 1 amp, 5 volts. When you get where you're going, you'll be fully charged. The remote control of the PXI 50.2 uses large rubber buttons so they're waterproof as well as backlit. It's very easy to control this at night at high speeds on a motorcycle. Volume up, volume down, track up, track down, playlist up, playlist down, as well as a random function. We also of course have the power which toggles between your musical sources, your auxiliary, your iPod, your iPhone, and of course you can turn it off. The PXI 50.2 has extremely low current draw, maximum being 10 amps. Normal will be 5 amps. Your imagination is the limit when it comes to places to use the PXI 50.2. Hi there, Kip for Kicker Performance Audio. What we thought we'd do is bring you back into one of our labs we have here in the back where we actually work on installing and testing our 12 volt products in vehicles. We're actually going to show you the install of a PXI 502 into, of all things, a lawnmower. It's going to be pretty cool, and it's going to show you a unique use of this product in an application you may never thought of before, but when you're out there mowing the yard for several hours, you're going to really enjoy what this can offer you. Hang on for the ride. Here it is, an actual lawnmower we're going to do the install in. We've already taken our measurements, and we know where all the components are going to fit, so we're going to dive into that next. The PXI 502 brain, we're going to put right here underneath the seat area. We've already checked this and there's plenty of clearance right here that the brain can mount and it will not be in the way of any of the linkage or the cabling of the mower system. We're going to drill a hole here, mount the control panel right here for the PXI 502 and route it down and over to the brain. Now this is where we're going to route the iPod cable so we can just leave it lay in the cup holder. And then we've already pre-run as you can see here speaker cables and these are going to go to a pair of speakers that are actually up on the bump bar on the back of the mower. Now that you've seen where the components are going to go, also keep in mind, safety first. We are going to disconnect the battery before we do all this installation work. We want to make sure that we don't cause any issues with shorting anything as far as power to ground. So be sure you always disconnect your power supply first before you actually start doing the installation. We're going to start by drilling a hole here that's large enough for the cable to come through the top of this control panel that's on the lawnmower. Just making sure that this, the cable, will fit through the openings in the mower, and it will, as you can see. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to peel the paper off some double-sided adhesive that we've got here. It's a very, very aggressive adhesive, and then we're going to attach this right here to the mower. As you can see, our cable's now here in the back, and this is what we're going to route down, secure 
to the cable that's here along with our speaker wire and make a nice harness to go to where the PXI 502 brain is going to be mounted right here. If you apply double side tape to this, you can then position it, mount it securely, and it'll hold it in place while you then go and drill the holes you need for a permanent installation. Now we've got our four holes drilled, we're going to go ahead and put in some uh, bolts and some nuts and secure it to the vehicle, i.e. our lumbar, so it's not going to go anywhere. Okay, we've got the PXI 502 brain amplifier mounted securely to the mower. We've got our control, our keypad controller mounted to go in. What we're going to do now, we're going to install our harnesses onto the PXI 502 and route them down and we'll start hooking up all our connections. This is a very important step. You do want to put a fuse in between the battery and your power wires. This is some 18 gauge primary wire that we're connecting to the 12 volt turn on lead for the PXI 502 so that we can extend it up here behind this panel and connect it to the key on the lawnmower. We are real close to powering up the PXI 502 and listening to the fruits of our labor. But first off, we want to stop here. We don't want to connect the ground wire up just yet. We want to connect our speakers up and then power up the PXI 502. This is a safety measure. We don't want the speaker wires shorting to each other or to the chassis of the lawnmower before we connect up the power. That way we're protecting our PXI 502. So let's take a break, grab our speakers and get those mounted, and after that's done, we'll come back and button up here at the battery and we'll be ready to take a listen. There are a lot of great speakers you can choose from in the kicker arsenal to outfit your ATV, UTV, motorcycle, boat, or in our case, the lawnmower install. Our Power Sports 5250 is a fantastic five and a quarter, works great in marine, works great in motorcycles. You gotta have a hold of mounted in, so we haven't chosen that speaker for this install because we don't have a place to cut a hold of mount a speaker. We also have our kicker marine components, fantastic, the KM6500s. Those also need a can or enclosure to use. So to make this real sweet and easy, what we chose was our KMT60. And as you can see here, our KMT speaker product, it's already in an enclosure. It's got brackets that we can mount to just about any type of roll bar, like we've got on the lawnmower. And the speaker wires simply hook onto the back. So we're gonna take a pair of these, we're gonna attach them to our mower, and then we'll be back to buttoning up that final connection and firing up the PXI 502 and listening to just how good this can sound on a lawnmower. there we've fully installed the kicker pxi 502 and of all things a lawnmower sounds great works great i think now it's time to go cut some grass but we're going to do a kicker style
Thanks for watching.